So today we're going to be talking about the gray render. So in order to do that, we're going to jump over to the screen capture here right now. Give me one second, everybody. And then we're over here. Okay. So this is a creature that we actually had on our live stream game back on um, last Wednesday. It was a creature that I actually kind of altered a little bit to kind of fit a encounter of four level five characters. So, but it was still very much a deadly encounter. Don't get me wrong. Cause we actually have a, um, challenge rating 12 look at the silly faces um check out the challenge rating 12 gray render for mordenkind's tome of foes so large monstrosity chaotic neutral um typically these things are bonded to some sort of intelligent creature and they basically guard them with their lives and basically perform whatever they want them to do they're inherently just kind of chaos incarnate. They kind of just like go crazy and they're savage and they just are nuts. Um, but if they're controlled by a master, they're a little bit more tame. So for the purposes of our encounter, we actually used a Durgar Mind Master for the um, controller of this Grey Render. Now, if the players actually killed the Mind Master before the Grey Render, it would have turned the encounter a little bit upside down. The Grey Render would have just started attacking everything and it would have been nuts. Um, but that did not happen. Um, so instead they focused all their focus on this gray render, which makes sense. They had no reason to know that the gray render was being controlled by anything or anyone. So totally fine. When we look at this gray render, we have an armor class of 19. We actually nerfed that to 17 for our game, um, just to make it a little bit more realistic, especially where most of our player characters didn't have that like plus nine to hit yet. So, um, we wanted it to be able to be much more balanced in that sense. Um, but we're still doing a ton of damage with the three attacks that we're getting. So we're putting out a very similar number of attacks with the Grey Render that our four player characters can do as far as the sheer number of rolls that are going to be made. Um, so it's something to keep in mind as we're kind of going through it. It was very tactful the way we wanted to do this. Uh, 189 hit points, still fine to use. So that's what we used for our encounter basically because of the fact that... Um, it's a scary monster. It's beefy and it's got a, it's got a wicked high constitution. It's going to be able to take a lot of hits, give a lot of hits, and it's going to be a slugfest unless you can find a way to control the battlefield in a way that is advantageous to you. So that kind of happened in our game. One of our players actually used Cold Lightning. Worked out really well for him. He was able to fly around. All the melee characters, however, had some trouble for good reason. Um, look at our stat right here. Um, we've got the 30 speed, roll initiative plus one. We've got, you know, high strength, high con. Makes a lot of sense. Um, but we have low, 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 um, um, basically mental stats. So, which makes a lot of sense. We have a very chaotic, um, brutal, ferocious beast. So for this sense, you know, intelligence is going to be pretty low. Charisma is actually fairly high, believe it or not. Um, and it's actually really funny. Killing Blow was Tasha's serious, or um, was Vicious Mockery. So that's always fun. Um, strength saves, strength con, of course. Big brute kind of monster. A lot of sense. Perception is going to give us a bonus here. We accidentally click on the thing, and that's okay. We go back. Um, dark Vision, 60 feet, if, that, if you need that. Um, I basically said that this one came out of the Underdark um, for the purposes of my campaign. It worked out really well for me. So hence, needs the Dark Vision. Um, doesn't know any languages. Um, CR 12, probably with the 17, it's probably a little bit lower, but hey, we, our players found a way to take it out because they used good strategy. Um, Grey Render makes three attacks, bite, two claws. So, bite, claw, claw. So we're talking plus eight to hit, 17 and 13 damage respectively on both of those. So you're doing a possibility of what amounts to 43 damage every single round. If you're hitting every single time. Most of our player characters, highest AC, I believe, was an 18 or a 19. I have to double check to make sure. The rest of them, much lower than that. Very high chance that this creature is going to hit more often than not. However, there are ways to combat a creature like this. And this is a good challenge for some of your players to figure out. Um, then Bloody Rampage. So another thing to keep in mind and kind of a great way to challenge your melee focused parties is they take damage, they make a melee attack against a creature within their reach. So if your player characters are going up there and smacking them in the face, whack, right back. So it hits really hard, it, you know, it has a lot of attacks, and it's really beefy, but it's kind of one-dimensional. It's not going to be able to do 
people that are at range. Not very well, at least, because it's only got a regular base 30 feet speed. We have we had a flying dwarf on a broom, for example. Casting call lightning. Never gonna get to that dwarf. So, if it, if anything went you know sideways, the dwarf was gonna be alive probably at the end of it, and probably would have been able to land the killing blow at the end of the day. Um, all things being equal, however. Really great moment. Um, you should definitely check out that episode, uh, The Great Durgar War. I'll leave a link uh, somewhere up here probably on the YouTube channel, and I'll put it in the, link in the description below as well on the YouTube video. Um, but it was a really great moment. He actually used Vicious Mockery to kind of like scream at this thing to death. It was really fun. Um, and then, like we said, uh, they are chaotic. Um, they are vicious. They are just gross and disgusting. I am not an expert necessarily on the uh, biology and anatomy of the Grey Render, but for my purposes, I kind of came up with something which I think was going to be pretty cool. And then the last thing we have here, we do have the ability to have some quirks with this Grey Render. So they can be kind of funny, um, depending on how you want to play with them. You can kind of play around with your Grey Renders a little bit. Um, they can just like hate horses, or they like to snuggle, or they like to chew on trees. Um, apparently they have flatulent, like, these guys can be pretty funny if you want to play them that way. We did not do that, because we wanted to, I wanted to make sure, we have a very comedic kind of game that we play, um, that's very light and very lighthearted, but it's a lot of fun, and we do a lot of role play. but it's been pretty serious recently. I didn't want to ruin that encounter with a farting creature, so I, I played it the different way. You can use this gray render however you want in your games that actually is going to give you the ability to kind of like have some fine things like um, chasing birds and leaving in the air to catch them um, and chewing on trees and convulsively dick. You can play around with the different quirks that these guys can have because they they literally are like chaotic creatures that like, you know, you give them a monster and they can make them do certain things, but then innately they're still a monster that is going to do monster things. Um, and they have kind of a personality. So maybe that's why the eight charisma is there. I'm not sure. But guys, that is a basic breakdown of the Grey Render. Uh, pretty cool monster. Uh, if you guys want to check out more of these monster breakdowns, make sure you check out the Monsters Explained playlist here on YouTube. Uh, also, I will leave a um, link down in the description for that playlist. Also, if you want to check out our live game that featured this great render, it's gonna, there's a lot of really cool stuff happening in that game. Um, I'll leave a link um, at the end of this video as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that was really helpful. Um, if you guys ever have any questions, you can always hop into our Discord. There's a link down there as well. And until next time, happy gaming.